for today, you need three worksheets. You need spelling and high frequency word practice six, worksheet six, and spelling word list one. So get those sheets and get those handy. And we're going to review some about last week. So we learned some facts about our alphabet last week. So we learned that there are 26 letters in the alphabet. And we learned that words are made up of smaller parts and those smaller parts are letters. And then we learned that there are two kinds of letters in our alphabet and those are vowels and consonants. So let's say our vowels together, A, E, I, O, and U. And then the rest are called consonants. So we're gonna review Real quick, our letter cards, our picture cards, and our sight words, okay? You don't need this sheet yet. I just have this so you're not staring at that glare, okay? So let's review our letters. Remember our letter cards? We are only going to say the letter and that's it, okay? A, E, I, O, U. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, R, S, T, V, W, Y, Z, and X. Okay, good job. Let's review our picture cards. Remember, these are our keyword cards. So this is going to be Apple A. Ah. Okay, and I want you to say them with me. So let's go. Apple A. Ah. Balloon B. Jar J. Zebra Z. Fox X. Hat H. Cat K. Remember this has a K back, so cat K. Dog D. Fish H. Goat G. Lion O. Monkey, m, mm. nest, n, pig, p, icicle, i, i, unicorn, u, overalls, o, inch, e, eh. elephant, e. Eh. Equal E. Rabbit er. Sun s. Tint t. Vest v. Wagon w. Yarn y. Kite k. Acorn a. Octopus, ah, uh. an umbrella, ah. Uh. Good. We gotta get fast at those because those are gonna take up time, but we've gotta review them. Now we're gonna do our sight words. I'm gonna put it down and hopefully when I lay it down, you can read it. If not, you repeat after me. One, together, tomorrow, R four eight into love was from what 
said, do today to, oops, sorry, have of the or the come they some to who where and you good job Now, get out your spelling and frequency word practice. We're going to do our sounds, okay? Write your name on the top. Random order, okay? Remember, I say it, you repeat the sound, then you're going to give me the letter, and then you're going to write the letter down, okay? So, er. That was an R. P. P. T. S. Remember, if you need to pause this, you may pause it to write. These should be pretty fast, though. E. Don't forget, we have to code those letters. A. Long A. Uh. Short U. Ah, uh, short O, I, short I, N, N, okay, back up to the top, M, Oh. Eh. Short E, be sure and code that with the brief. Okay. K. Remember what we write down? It's the K. What do we write down? We're going to write down K comma C because it can be one and we're going to read it K comma C. Okay. Good job. J. J. H G G make sure you're making these J's and G's come below the line D D, B, B, U, make sure you put that macron up there so we know it's the long U, O, L, 
long O with the macron. What letter is that? Good. X. Z. Z. Y. Y. A. Code it with the brief. I. Code it with the macron. The code our letters. What? Mm. Oop. Good. I almost missed that one. Good job, guys. Okay. Okay, now look at the back of that. So flip it over. Right here beside one. We're going to sound out the first word. The first word we're going to spell is bug. So we're going to sound it out. And when we sound it out, it's called unblending. So some of you are probably familiar when we blend words. I would give you a word like at, and then I'd tell you to blend it and put it together for at cat. So when we unblend, we're pulling it apart so we can hear the sounds and spell it correctly. So our first word is bug. We're going to unblend that bug, b, a, g. Okay. Now we're going to write those three sounds on these three lines. So we're going to write b, a, g, bug. Okay. Make sure you wrote it down correct, and if you didn't, change it. Now I want you to do did, did, d, i, d. Write down those three sounds that you hear. Okay, so you should have written d, i, d, d, i, d for did. Okay, on number three, sat. He sat in the chair, sat. Sound that out. At. Okay, so you should write S A T. S at. Okay, good job. Now let's practice some sight words. So down here on number four, okay, I want you to write, spell the word one. Okay, that's our sight word we've been practicing. So go ahead and pause it if you need to and write one and then check mine. So you should have written O-N-E for one. Okay, on number five, write the word two. These are your sight words. You should be practicing them. Okay, and number six, we're going to write the word four. The number. F-O-U-R. Okay. Now, I want you to look at spelling word list one. Go ahead and get this sheet out. Spelling word list one, okay? So now that we've gotten through the first five lessons, now we're doing a lesson a day. And so every Friday or our fifth day, you're going to have a spelling test, okay? Our first spelling test going to be over these words, okay? 
So you're going to take these home and you're going to, well, you are home. You're going to practice these every day. Okay. And these are our rules that we know they're all short sounds. So n odd nod. Okay. All short sounds. So go ahead and put this worksheet to the side. Keep it in some place safe because you need to study these every day this week. Okay. Okay. Now, I forgot to grab my dry erase board, so I'm going to grab a piece of paper. You don't need your dry erase board, though. Okay. So let's look at some words. We're going to learn a new rule this week, okay? Today, I want you to look at this word. Listen, echo these words back to me. Remember, echo as I say it, and you're going to repeat it. He, be, and we. What sound do you hear that all of those have in common? Yeah, their final sound, E, is what you hear. So let's look at these words. This is how these words are spelled. E, we, and be. Okay? So who can tell me what the vowel is in each of these? Go ahead and tell me. Right. The E is the vowel in all three of these words. Okay? So is there a consonant after the vowel? In any of these words, is there another letter that's a consonant? No. So all of these are the vowel and then there's nothing else, okay? So this is something that we haven't talked about before. So let's look at this rule, okay? That's okay, you don't need to know these words yet anyway. Here we go. Okay. So this is means vowel. So when you see a V, it means vowel, any vowel, A, E, I, O, or U. And there's an arrow. So this means the arrow tells us that there's nothing after the vowel. There's nothing after that. Okay. So when a vowel is not followed by a consonant, we say that it's open. So this is an open vowel, okay? So let's read this. An open accented vowel is long, code it with a macron, okay? So this is the accent symbol, okay? That just means where we're going to put the enunciation, the accent on the word, okay? So this is an accent mark, and then this is our macron. So this rule any vowel that is open, meaning not followed by a consonant, it has an accent mark, and it's a long vowel, so we code it with a macron. So this is what the word me would look like, okay? So let's go back over here and look at these. We would code he, okay? It's an open vowel. There's no consonants after it, so we're going to put an accent mark and a macron, okay? B, we're gonna put an accent mark and a macron. We, accent mark and a macron, okay? So even a word that only has one syllable, we talked about syllables last week, P, it has one part, it has one syllable, is gonna automatically get that accent, okay? So now we're going to spell some words that follow the rule, okay? So get out your spelling high frequency word practice and this box that has new words, okay? 
we are going to spell me m e m e okay so this is the open vowel rule okay now we have so we know there's gonna be two letters because there's only two blanks so what do we hear O. We know it's the long O because it's close. It's an open vowel, so it's going to have the accent and the macron if we were coding. Right now we're just spelling. Hi. H. I. Okay. Pause if you need to to write those down. Okay. Now I'm going to look at another word and I want you to help me code it, okay? Here's our word, okay? So how do we code this word? How do you think we're gonna code this? We're going to put a breve over the A because our rule last week, we learned that when there's a vowel followed by a consonant, the vowel is a short vowel. Okay, so this is an A. Okay, are we done with this word? We are not done with this word. Good job. This is a C that has a K sound. So it needs a K back, okay? Are we done now? We are done now. So when we see this, we know it's the K sound because it has the K back. So K, A, P, okay, good. So our rule last week, if it's a vowel followed by a consonant, it's the short vowel sound. This week, if it's a vowel that's open, meaning it has no consonant after it, it's a long vowel sound. Okay, good job. We're almost done. So I want you to get out now your other worksheet that has the pictures on it. Okay, the side that says worksheet six, the other side has homework six. So we're gonna do the worksheet six side, okay? So we're gonna work with our rule. So from now on, our worksheets like this are gonna have two sides, okay? One side we're gonna do together and the other side you'll do by yourself, okay? So we're gonna code the words on this page then we're going to read them to ourselves and then we're going to match them to the pictures. Okay, so I want you to code the words on one through seven. Pause the video while you code and then unpause to check your answers. So go ahead and pause. Okay, let's check your answers. So the new rule we learned is an open vowel but we're also got to check for last week. So this is a vowel followed by a consonant. So it's going to be a short vowel. This is a vowel followed by a consonant. So it's short. Here's another vowel followed by a consonant. So it's short. Vowel followed by a consonant. So it's short. Oh, here's our new rule. We have a vowel that doesn't have anything after it. So it's gonna be long, but we're also gonna put that little accent mark, okay? Vowel that's open, it's not followed by a consonant. Macron and an accent mark. And here's a vowel that is followed by a consonant, so it's short. Now let's read these words. W, et, wet. L, og, log. 
in fin g et get m e me i hi p it pit okay so let's see i don't have this word yet this is a log No, this is a fin. It's pointing to his little fin. And then I don't have that one yet, okay? So pause and do eight through 14 and then come back and check. So right now, pause. Okay, good, let's check. This is followed by a vowel. This is followed by a double vowel or a double consonant, I'm sorry, that we're gonna say once. Oh, this is an open vowel. It is not followed by anything. So we put a macron and an accent mark. Okay. Jug. Cat is a vowel followed by a consonant. So that's short. Here's our vowel. It's not followed by anything. So it is open. So it's a long vowel sound with an accent mark. Same thing here, here's our vowel. It's open because it does not have a consonant after it. So it's a long sound with an accent mark, okay? So let's read these words. Rug, rug, L, fell, W, E, we, J, ug, jug, cat, k, at, cat. B E B in S O so. Okay, let's look at our pictures. Here's a cat. Here's a rug. And then a jug, which those rhyme. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna do the back for homework. Okay. You can do it now or take a break since you've been on here for a while. Go get a drink of water, go to the bathroom, and then come back and do this, okay? You need to code all of your words with our old rule and our new rule, okay? And then take a picture of it, make sure I can read it real good, and send it to me, okay? I'll see you tomorrow for lesson seven.